Our top story this afternoon, the state is set to impose some fines on the operator of a local ride that a teenager fell to his death from earlier this year. 14 year old Tyree Sampson fell from his seat on the free fall ride at Icon Park March 24th and fell to the pavement in front of horrified patrons. In less than an hour, the Department of Agriculture will release a list of safety violations. West Chu's investigative reporter Greg Fox is live at Icon Park with a closer look at those violations. Greg. Well, uh, from the sources we've talked with that have had a chance to review the administrative complaint that is connected to this deadly, tragic fall from here at the free fall, say that most of those violations are related to the private engineer's report released in April. That report showed there were adjustments made to the free fall ride. Now, multiple violations will be revealed in the complaint at 1 o'clock today. One of the most glaring findings outlined in the April inspection was that the seat sensor in which Tyree Sampson was sitting was adjusted and the harness loosened to accommodate his size. Engineers determined the space was large enough for him to slip out when the free fall tilted forward and then dropped. The ride manual recommends a maximum weight per rider of 287 pounds. Sampson, a football player visiting from St. Louis, weighed 383 pounds at the time of his death. Sources say the safety violations will also address a lack of training for ride employees and inadequate record keeping. The fines are expected to be hefty against the owner, Orlando Eagle Drop Slingshot LLC. Icon Park, which owns the property in which the ride operates, is not expected to be cited or fined. Uh, on October 6th, the owner of the free fall announced that it would be dismantled, but that couldn't happen until the investigation was completed by the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. So with that happening today, uh, when it will be taken down at this point is unclear. The family of Tyree Sampson is suing multiple people, including the owner and Icon Park. But again, we stress it's not expected that Icon Park will be cited in this complaint that's going to be revealed in less than an hour. We'll, of course, have complete details coming up on West 2 News First at 4 and as always on West.com.